Welcome back to another scooter video. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to feeble. All right, my name is Chase Ross, and I make a lot of tutorials just like this one. So if you guys like this one, make sure to like, comment, and you know, subscribe, most importantly, so you guys can see all of my tutorials. But today, like I said, we're gonna be learning how to feeble. And feeble is a super important trick because there's so many trick combos that can go into a feeble. Say you're in a half pipe line, you get tired. What are you gonna do? Feeble stall. It's a perfect trick to gain your speed back Catch a, catch a break for a split second, and you know, you can add combos to it with feebles, like I just did, feeble to Brian. All these tricks are gonna be helpful to you, and I think you guys should definitely learn how to feeble. So, let's get into step number one. When it comes to feebles, make sure you're either trying them on a coping, like this, or, you know, maybe a little little ledge. I'd recommend probably a ledge first, but because I have a quarter pipe here, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on a quarter pipe. So the first things first, I wanna see you guys get up on the ramp or ledge, and you know, get up here, all right, now that you're up on top of your ledge or uh, you know quarter pipe like this, we're gonna first talk about what a feeble is. So a feeble, first off, is when you put your deck right here, your back wheel is off the ledge and your front wheel is on the ledge. So if you slide, it's gonna be a feeble grind. If you just stall, it's a feeble stall. So most important step to this trick first is finding your balance. If you can stay up here like this, balanced, this trick is gonna be 100% easier. So definitely get practicing just doing this, maybe hop a couple times, Get comfortable with it, shift off, shift on, shift back and forth. Find that balance point of where you're comfortable feebling. And for the first couple of times, use your heels. There's no reason you guys can't practice using your heels when learning feebles and any other grind for that matter. It's only gonna allow you to get that, that core fundamental trick down. And then you know, you get better at it. You stop using your heels, it's not a big deal. So use those heels for at first, much comfortable, you know, lift those heels. Now you just find that balance point, you're back and forth, find that balance point, then you're gonna drop in. So, when it comes to actually dropping in, I'd recommend first, if you're on a quarter pipe, just get comfortable here, like I said. Now all you're gonna do is do a slight hop, and then once you hop, you're gonna hop into the quarter pipe. Once you're inside the quarter pipe, it's really just leaning forward, letting your front wheel straighten yourself out, and get in. So, if you're not comfortable with hopping, you can also pivot. So pivot that front wheel right there, pivot that in, and then go in, just like that. As you guys saw, I just used my front foot as a guider. You guys can do that a couple times to get comfortable with it. But now that you're comfortable with actually going in and getting that front wheel above and around the coping, now all you're gonna do is just pivot in. Now that you know what a feeble is, we've talked about first off how to get into it and how to balance on it. Now we're gonna talk about actually approaching it and getting onto the quarter pipe or ledge. So first, you're gonna approach at a small speed. You don't wanna go blazing fast. If you go fast, you're gonna end up kicking out and you know that's never fun, you're gonna end up on your butt on the coping or something, not fun. So, when you're coming up, approach at a slow speed as if you were just about to air out of the ramp, maybe like a foot, nothing too crazy, just a little bit. You're gonna get up here, so when you're first coming up the ramp, slow speed, slow speed, lift that front wheel right there. You're gonna lift that front wheel. Now when you come up, you're going to slightly turn a little bit, about a little less than 90 degrees, and then you're gonna slap this back wheel and lock it into the coping. This is the crucial point because once you get that back wheel locked in, you can then throw your front wheel down. And once your front wheel's down, you're back in your neutral state of, you know, just standing at a feeble. Once you're here, then you link the second part, which is just lifting that front wheel, and then, you know, dropping back in. Same thing now for a slide. If you're gonna do a feeble grind, all you're gonna do, instead of approaching it straight on, you're gonna now approach it at an angle. So you're gonna come up from the side and you're gonna lift that front wheel. So you're coming up over here. You're gonna lift that front wheel right here, slap that back end on, and you're gonna be moving this way anyway. So all you're gonna do now is continue to find that balance point back and forth. And then once you're comfortable, you can either come to a stop or when you're going, you're then gonna lift that front wheel, hop back in just like the normal feeble stall we did earlier. So I'll show you guys one right now. One quick tip I wanna add when you're doing a feeble stall and you're actually grinding with it, you wanna move your front wheel. You wanna constantly be steering. You're gonna lean your body weight forward over your bars a little bit and you're gonna steer. So if you start kicking out like this, you're gonna steer inward. And then once you get a little bit too close, you're gonna steer out back. This is gonna keep you in that fine line. You wanna run parallel with the coping. So picture your front wheel is parallel, just like that with the coping. So you're gonna be riding the wrong side perfectly. So just like this, you're gonna be running you keep straight, if you start kicking out a little bit too much, you're gonna correct it back in. If you're kicking in too much, you're gonna correct it back out. 
You want to stay in a happy like six inches away from the coping with your front wheel. That's the sweet spot. Just wanted to add that in there so you guys can learn how to feeble grind a little bit better. Another thing I want to touch on, when you're doing the feeble, you want to make sure that you keep your body weight inside the quarter pipe. I touched on this in my 50-50 tutorial, so you guys should check that tutorial out if you have not already. But much like in that tutorial, you're going to be keeping your body weight forward. So that means your head is going to always be inside the quarter pipe and your butt is always going to be on the outside of the quarter pipe. So the reason this is, this is your butt's going to act as the counterweight and your head's going to act as the body weight that's leaning forward so you never fall back and you actually stay inside the ramp. Because the whole goal of this trick is to be able to get back into the quarter pipe. So what we're going to do, we're going to stall, keep that body weight forward, kick that butt out as a counterweight, and then you're going to lean back in. That right there is how to feeble. It's a super simple trick and you definitely could learn this at any level if you're a beginner. Just learn how to tail up or if you're in, you know, pro, you probably obviously know how to do this already. But you can link so many tricks with the feeble. It's a great one because you can come up through ramp, stall, reposition yourself, reset your whole line, and then drop back in full speed ahead. So that right there is how to feeble. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to drop a tutorial that you guys want me to do down below. I'm gonna be working on other ones. I just made a 50-50 tutorial. You guys, that'll be linked at the end of this video so you guys can check that out. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.